All right, we're gonna start this again. Take two. How you doing? How you doing today, Sharif? I'm fine, Michael. How are you? Perfect, perfect. And we're gonna start off and find out a little, your your full name. Full name is Sharif Hakim. And what's your art background? My background is in charcoal. I used to work in black charcoal, but now I work in white. So my background, I would say, is in charcoal. Perfect. Uh, tell me. A little about your body of work. My body of work uh, is around wildlife portraiture. So I do wildlife portraiture solely because my work uh, revolves around saving endangered wildlife. Oh, so, cool. So that's, that's mainly why I draw um, endangered wildlife and domesticated animals, abused animals. Okay. So it revolves around that. Oh, uh, what inspires your creativity? What inspires my creativity really is is the animal world. The animal world is what inspires. It's the reason why I draw wildlife. It's the reason why I draw animals in general. Mm -hmm. But um, it's it's endangered species. Endangered wildlife is mainly what inspires my creativity. I like to draw endangered wildlife because I know you know because they're endangered. My artwork revolves around saving them. That's why it inspires my creativity. Okay. And nonetheless, that motivates you to, to create. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, what is your strongest influence in your, in your work? It might sound redundant, but my strongest influence is and are animals. That's, that's, that's my strongest influence. And that's the reason why I draw, the, I draw them. I draw animals. Perfect. Now, I, I ask this question to every artist. Uh, how do you define success as an artist? A lot of artists would define their success as, you know, monetary. You know, so that they would consider the dollar amount as their success, right? That would be the traditional answer. And that would probably be the answer that a lot of artists give. But my, my definition of success is that the, the reason why my artwork is recognized. So if, my, if, the, if the reason, if the, if the intention, if the purpose of my artwork is recognized and is understood, that's the success. And of course, you can't, you can't of course leave out the monetary answer. Of course, that if my artwork is recognized and they understand that a portion of sales go to saving animals, to go to sanctuaries and conservations, that also would define success. But to me, that comes secondary. And if my artwork is recognized, translate monetary. Exactly. And I think that's a lot of things, that's something all artists should understand. 100%. Exactly. Um, how has your style changed over time, if at all? I, I guess if, if you could say it changed, it changed for the better and then it changed more realistic. Mm -hmm. It became more realistic in my artwork. Um, it all, I, I've always ventured on, on drawing realistic work is ever since I was young, even if I would draw cartoon characters, mm -hmm. I would find a way to make them look real. You know, I would try to find a way to not make them so 2D. You know, so I would say that over time, over the years, um, it became more and more realistic. You know, and I would, I would start it off with black charcoal at first, black charcoal on white paper. Um, and that worked fine, that was just fine. But um, when I found that black paper and white charcoal was more forgiving to the medium, I also found that that gave such that that gave so much more life to my artwork. It, became, it made it look much more real, you know. And um, there was a point where um, I had a long hiatus for about maybe four or five years. But I always knew that you know there was always a thing with me that whenever I would take a long break, whenever I'd come back, my work would look my work would become better. You know, I can't really give an explanation for that. Mm -hmm. But you know, I guess a long break is necessary sometimes with mm -hmm. me. Um, I'd have, a, I'd have a long run of working, and I'd take a long break, but I knew that during that break, even though I wasn't creating anything, whenever I did come back, I guess, I, I don't know what it is, but my work would just become better. It would become more realistic. I, I don't know, maybe it was just a long break, and, and, to, and to go back over my work, and to think about what I could do better, mm -hmm. and then when I come back to drawing, applying those principles. And sure enough, when I'd apply them, they'd become more realistic. So you had a time to reflect. A time to reflect. There you go. You can That's how it works. Right. <laughs> um, for uh, aspiring artists that are coming up or getting into it or want to get into it, 
um, how do you seek out opportunities as an artist to show and sell your work? Fortunately for, for us now, the internet, <laughs> it just it gives us a lot of opportunity. You know, there's so many websites like uh, Entry Thingy or Cafe. They offer, just those two alone, offer so many opportunities for work. Mm -hmm. And depending on the city that you're in, you can type that city in, you know, um, opportunities for artists in Los Angeles, opportunities for artists or, call, or calls for artists in Santa Clarita, in Ontario. You just type that up and you'll have so many opportunities uh, given, depending on the website. And um, you could just simply sell, you could apply, you could submit your artwork there. And that's what I've done. That's actually, that's, that's the way I found this. Perfect. <laughs> that's the way I found this opportunity. So, and they lead to much, you know, they lead to much bigger opportunities, mm -hmm. other opportunities, depending on, of course, who you meet. I'm not going to say you're going to go there and suddenly you're going to blow up. But at least it gives you the opportunity for, you know, movement forward. You know, and that's, you know, my artwork is very detailed, it's very, it's very professional, but I'm still taking those baby steps, and those steps were, were the ones I found online, they were ones I found in different art websites, and, you know, some have been big, some have been big, some have been small, but um, they offered the opportunity, they offered the opportunity to, um, to uh, find my, my way into the art world, you know, just recently I, I found a, uh, just about four or five weeks ago, I was in the uh, Costa Mesa Art Venture. Mm -hmm. I found that online. Okay. And that actually turned out to be something great. Um, out of about 120 artists, over 200 pieces of work, the uh, mayor himself chose my artwork for the highest award, being the Mayor's Award of Merit. And I found that online. You know, so. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. But it just goes to show you, you know what I mean? People, a lot of artists, a lot of artists think that online opportunities are small you know there are so many out there you know so they're not going to give me that big opportunity mm -hmm. this was a big opportunity for me and it, you know it presented itself as the mayor's selection for the top of it. yeah so i'm very thankful for that you know a lot of people like i said they think it's small but no you can find an opportunity where you can go submit your work your work is submitted it gets selected by you know who knows how you know who knows who but um big awards uh, it could be monetary awards, or it could be a award of recognition. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? But um, it could lead to something bigger. You know. But if you don't try, you'll never find that. Yeah. And needless to say, and then every, you know, needless to say, you put in the work. One hundred percent. Yeah, you have to put in the work before you can aspire to do bigger things. If you don't put in the work, you'll never find out. Exactly. You know? And that's how that's how it goes. Now, leading leads me to another question. What are you enjoying most about participating in the Ontario Festival of the Arts? This is my first festival. Okay. So this, I haven't done this before. <laughs> so I, I think everything about the festival, the people, the artists, the music, um, every, everything, everything mm -hmm. about the event, there's not, it's, it's, it's something I, found very, I find very enjoyable. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I haven't done this before. So this is, uh, this is a new experience for me. This is a new experience for me, and I hope it's not my last festival that I do. Um, I, I usually go into galleries and those kind of shows, but of course, because I've applied to this kind of thing online, um, I'm now I'm now involved in the festival, mm -hmm. and I find it very, very, you know, very something I enjoy very much. This is very fun, you know, and, and again, this is just the start. Mm -hmm. This is just the beginning of the festival, so. Who knows how it's gonna fare, but I, so far, I'm having a very, very fun time. I am looking forward to seeing you next year. Are you doing? Are you doing the festival? I hope so. Okay. <laughs> but even if I don't, I'll, I'd like to, I still would come out and I see hope, it. I hope to see you next year for sure. And now I think you answered. What's your connection to Ontario in the surrounding area, if any? I'm from LA. I'm okay. from LA, but the, um, the most significant. The most significant things that I've done so far have been in Costa Mesa. That was the um, the event where I won the Mayor's Award, and uh, Santa Clarita, where I was able to exhibit my work at City Hall. And this is what I've done here on Ontario. Perfect. So this is the first thing that I've done here. So I've been around. I've been around the area so far, yeah. recently, and they've been the three things that were back to back. Okay. You get what I'm saying. So um, it hasn't been sporadic. Okay. Just in uh, April, it was the Santa Clarita. 
and uh, just recently, and just in September was uh, was the uh, Costa Mesa event in uh, Ontario. So they were pretty close together. Yeah. And there were the three events. I haven't done anything between April and um, and September for Costa Mesa. Maybe a, a couple of things here and there, uh, but there were there were other events that I really couldn't go to. So the ones that I went to were uh, Santa Clarita, Costa Mesa, and now Ontario. I think they're I think they're close by. Okay. okay. Yeah, and before I let you go, how long have you been an artist? I would say I've been, a, I've been an artist ever since I was six or seven, right? Okay. But professionally speaking, professionally speaking, I've been an artist, I would say, for the last 10 or 15 years. But my true answer from the heart is I've been an artist all my life. Perfect. And I'm going to end with that because that's a perfect answer. Okay. It's something that I that I really believe that you were destined to do this. I pray. And I, I, I pray so. Yeah. And I appreciate you taking the time. And once again, I want to welcome you to the Ontario Festival of Arts. Thank you, Mark. Got it right. All right. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Take care, my friend. I couldn't have had any better interview. Oh, thank you. <laughs>